we got a pontoon boat for Sammy's birthday. She's 33 today. She's an adult. adult. <laughs> and we got a birthday cake, a charcuterie board, and O'Keefe requested a watermelon. Hence why Eric has a knife. The knife is any, in case anybody gets testy. He said stick candles in the watermelon, but we also got a carrot cake. So. Okay, why stick waters in the water? I mean, why stick candles in the watermelon? I don't, that's stupid. Uh, I'm the captain I'm now. The I have never driven a boat before. We're going to see how this goes. I'm joking. Welcome to my birthday party. I can't lose the party. I can't lose the party. Ahoy. What is this? Dad, you're embarrassing me. Listen, eyes back here. Eyes back here. Surprises are happening over there. It's about as good a secret as uh, your birthday present. Oh my gosh. Yeah, guys, I got my birthday present by accident. A month ago. A week, a week <laughs> ago. It was a week ago. Uh, it's a flow hive. It's a beehive. Uh, yeah. I, I coordinated it. I texted Tyler. I was like, Tyler, package is about to get delivered. As soon as it hits your doorstep, take it inside. He was like, done. Five minutes later. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sammy. Happy birthday to you! Woo! Chug it! <laughs> <laughs> a ceremonial bite. Woo! Thank you. Like carrot, cake. carrot cake. Nailed it. <laughs>so this year uh, we have some athletes on the floor you know we have Jason Hopper and Mal O'Brien on the floor Jake's working um, with Jason I work with Mal and yeah so we're in the warm-up area we're up early up late and uh, there to be a support team the night of day one was was pretty low just because it was there was three workouts in a row that were like all gymnastics like Day one was just full of just really hard workouts for me. And I was sitting at 32nd and I was spiraling. Like, I wasn't crying because <laughs> uh, I didn't want to be that guy. <laughs> but I wanted to. I wanted to. Um, and it was just tough. Like, I, the biggest thing for me is I have a sports background. And so, like, momentum is, is a big key. Like, when you're playing a game like football or baseball like momentum is going into the fourth quarter with momentum is a good thing you don't ever want to be trailing and I felt like I was already trailing you know like this was my year uh, this is my year to like top 10 like that was my goal and I was trailing like way behind to do that I'm so glad we got to work out on the on the, the rest day because last year I was sitting in like 16th and with a rest day you just you think about you just you have longer to just sit in your like your misery. And so like, I was like, dude, if I'm in 32nd and you have a whole day of just sitting around in your hotel room, just thinking about 32nd, like this is not going to be fun. I think like that was the biggest challenge of the weekend. Like the hurdle of the weekend was how do I get over this? Like, how can I bounce back? How can I fight in 32nd place and, and just claw my way back? So in the warm up area, when I was competing, I was incredibly nervous. Now in the warm up area, calm cool collected and have the warm-up all written out it's nice and easy and then it's once i when i was competing once i hit the floor my nerves would just boom drop go away now it's when mal hits the floor that's when my nerves shoot up and uh and it's either one extreme or the other it's either i'm incredibly calm because i'm i know that there's nothing i can do it's out of my control that's it she's on the floor that's it uh or, or I get incredibly, incredibly nervous and scared because she's on the floor and there's nothing I can do. It's out of my control. <laughs> so, it's a, yeah, it's a little bit different. It's a, 
It's a roller coaster ride of emotions. <laughs> well, it was only three events in when I got it, so I was just like trying to keep that in mind, like, hey, we're still super early. But I put it on and I was like, Matt, like I like I just got like a sense of nerves and I was like, oh no, like I don't want it to affect me and all this stuff, but then it's just like it's just a shirt. You know, like even if I didn't wear it, I would perform the exact same. So it's just like remembering that and like, hey, if I lose it, I know I'm gonna try and get it back anyway. So yeah, I mean, it was a kind of a different kind of pressure to be able to wear it, but I mean, it was a great experience and it was really cool to wear it for two events, so. I think the one yesterday she was a little disappointed in, but I think she was disappointed in the results, but not disappointed in her effort. Um, so that little disconnect, you know, she was a little bit upset, but I just like, hey, like you did great. I was like, we just found a huge weakness and you're still in first place. Like this is a phenomenal opportunity. Be excited for next season already of like, hey, you found a weakness and and we ha we're gonna have a full year to work on it. So she's sitting in first right now. The point spread between like first and sixth, I think, is pretty tight. So there's gonna be some jostling around, but I think the one workout we know today, I'm excited to see her do. I think she, I think she can do really well. We've hit a lot of those implements throughout the season, so yeah, today should be a good day. So I just kept telling myself like I would have opportunities to fight back. And plus it was 13 events. There was so many, so much more time. Um, I kept telling myself like things like I'm a fighter. Like this is, this is, that doesn't define who I am. This doesn't define my fitness. Um, and it won't like I'm way fitter than I was last year, you know? And I just kept telling myself like I'm made for this and I was tough enough to, to handle this and that. I had plenty of opportunities to, to just keep fighting. I think the, the echo bike with the wall facing deficit handstand push-ups was, was pretty fun too, just because no one expected me to do really well in that. And, and I thought I, I, had, I had a lot of confidence going into that workout, so it was good to uh, just do well in that one. The highlight was how I responded the next day, like how I handled that adversity, how I stepped into that challenge and, and, and faced it head on. Play baseball. What position you play? You like Atlanta? Oh really? I'm a big, I'm a big Cardinal fan. We don't like the Braves. So. <laughs> well, nice to meet y'all. I gave you, I gave you a high five before you went off. Oh. You do CrossFit? Yeah, I do. Six. I wish I started when I was 13. <laughs> I'd be better. <laughs> I'd be more consistent. It would take 30 of. <laughs> nice to meet you, Colton. Hey, bro, hey, let's play a game. You're in it for life, okay? If I ever get you to say the word mine, you got 10 push ups on the spot. If you say mine? No, if you say mine. And if you get me to say mine. Okay. The word mine. So if I was like, whose is this? And you said, like, mine, you got 10 push ups. Like, no matter where you are. What's like an alternative other than mine? 
<laughs> you figure it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's okay. For life, bro. For life. <laughs> Por vida. That wasn't even a minute turnaround. That was bad. I'm a rookie. I'm a rookie in this game. Hey, Jesse. 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 Hey, Jason finishes second in a handstand push-up workout. He's inviting people down the lobby for burgers. Hey, J-Hop's here! Anybody want to have some dinner? It's on me! Who the fool? Dude, you had a day today. I don't know what happened in the middle of it, but the first the first part and the last part were amazing. That's all I'm at, right? That's how you starting height then? Hey, get him on the bet. It's not a bet. It's like a game. It's a game for life. I mean, nah, okay, I'm, I'm in on that, because I, 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 the same goes for you? Yeah. Everybody, I'm in it too. Dude, Eric you're going to have, have Rabdo by the time I'm done with you. It'd be one of these ones where like somebody deals the game and they're like, oh, damn it! Like it just backfires on them? <laughs> no, it's the first time. First time? How yeah, was? it's so cool. So like, I mean, some people have listened to the to the, to the episodes before, like, I'm a total nerd when it comes to CrossFit, like, complete geek. So, you know, to be here after, first time I heard about CrossFit and stepped into a gym was 2009. So after following it for the past 13 years to finally be here, and then now, obviously, in this capacity is ridiculous, but it's been so much fun. So much fun. I think the cool thing is, too, is like coming from Strongman, I didn't think people would know who I was this weekend. Hasn't been the case. <laughs> um, which is really cool, right? Because it's, it's great to see that, like, the fans cross over sports, you know, and it's really, really cool to see. And so it's just been so much fun. I'm exhausted, but I'm loving every minute of it. Like, I don't want it to end. So it's really cool. Four, five, six, no breath. <laughs> Matt's gonna be the fifth. You'll give those to me. You'll give those to me next week. <laughs> he just oh, he just helped me in on this game that he fell for fell for it immediately. I almost I tried to get him immediately after he told me it. What game are you playing? We were looking at the leaderboard and I go, this is yours. Expecting him to go, it's M I N E. Are you in it too? Yeah. That's it. Oh. Woo. That's it. That's it. It's gonna be a good day. Alright. Um, if you are a GoWide Premium member and an HWPO member for flagship 60 and strong, you're able to to add that to your GoWad. Uh, on the back end in your profile. And then that way when you log in each day, you'll see, okay, I'm a 60 member. I'm gonna go and do, you know, I'm on day six today. And GoWad has put all of our training into their system. So they know that day six is power clean, push your deadlift, assault, like, and they created a protocol specific for that. So that applies for pre and post WAD. Um, but that way, you know, similar to the daily videos that we provide for you guys for our various tracks, that's ensuring that you're getting the absolute most out of your training. Um, so we're super proud and appreciative of our partnership with GoWad. They put this on for us this week, um, hosted a ton of free classes for you guys, and uh, you know we're just so grateful. So just like a quick little round. been awesome. Um, a lot of the volume that Jake Marconi and I um, have been, he's been individually programming for me so it's been um, it's been amazing just to kind of see how his mind works uh, with programming and the volume has been insane um, but super challenging but but doable and every day um, you know the body gets beat down, but you're always looking forward to tomorrow, the challenge tomorrow. So it's been it's been great. I feel really prepared, and um, just excited to see what we've done the last ten months together.
events, I feel like the, the highlight was the sandbag to, to the shoulder. Uh, that was epic. On the sandbags, mm -hmm. every after every single lift, you had a different celebration. Did you plan each celebration? I don't even. I didn't even notice that. I did. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite ones is you dropped it, you had it up here, and you let it fall, and you let your head stay, and you just looked over your shoulder. <laughs> well, because like <laughs> it's so heavy, and it was like such a process to get it to the shoulder that like when you get it there it's like you have like you're almost like paralyzed <laughs> so whenever you drop it you're just kind of like <laughs> dead it's like you're dead just like uh. um like there was one where i had my arm out and i was just like i dropped it and i was like i might as well just do this now you know so hopper hits the 340 hopper hits the 340 sandbag obviously struggled with it like we all did he comes to sit down he goes oh i'm done man i'm done and I was like, yeah, man, me too. Like, that was heavy. And he says, they're bringing out the 350. And I said, oh, I can, I'll smash that. Like, I'll get it. He says, I might not do it. And he's like, I don't think I can do it. And I'm like, you got to. Like, you got to, like, trust me. If there's, if there's anything I learned, like, I learned this from Scott Panchik, my first year of the games. Like, every event, you got to, you know, no regrets. Like, you got to, you got to push for it. And he goes, man, but I got years ahead of me. Like, I'm a rookie, like, what would you recommend? I'm like, oh, you definitely do it. <laughs> you gotta definitely do it. It was right after 340. Like, it took every ounce out of me to hit 340. And I was like, we're done. Like, we're like, we're, we're going to go do this ladder now for the, 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 the win. And they brought out 350. And I looked at him and said, I'm not, I'm not attempting that. <laughs> I'm not, I can't do it. Like, I have nothing in me to, like, do that. I asked him, um, hey, like, what would you do if you were in my shoes? Like, I'm 24, super young in this space. Like, this could potentially break my back. <laughs> would you attempt this if you were me? And he said, dude, you are going. I want you to go out there and lift that. Like, <laughs> it's the last thing you ever do on earth. <laughs> Something like that. I'm not, not word for word, but it was so funny. I was like, okay. It was like he, he was being a mentor and a competitor at the same time. Um, it was super funny. So I went out there and I attempted it. Good dogs? Hi, dude. For the men's. Actually, last day of school. That was like the longest time. That was supposed to be like a candid moment and completed. Everybody's a critic. You know what? How about we just boost each other up today? <laughs> That's a good idea. Boof. I'm Andrew. Uh, I'm Chadrick. <laughs> I don't like this. What am I do? What am I do? I'm not one take wonder. Um. Yikes. I'm Chadrick and I get drunk off of non-alcoholic beers. Josh, 25 years old. I help out with programming and help out wherever I can. I'm Erin, I'm 22 and I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> I'm here for a good time if you can handle it. <laughs> My name's Eric, I'm from Arizona, 29. I'm gonna make you giggle. You can't go up. Yeah, right. We're already too high. <laughs> it is. It's not even seven a.m. So let's, let's put on one of Eric's break. Up, Eric, Aaron's breakup songs. So let's bring it down. Last a day, A lot of people attacked it the, the right way, right? So like having that bag more vertical as opposed to horizontal pick. Um, you know, we saw Justin go to horizontal pick and he was just more comfortable with that. So stuck with it, but honestly really happy with how Jason attacked it. You know, we talked a lot about when that bag gets heavy, it's not a fast movement, right? So like getting it to the lap and being okay with it, just sitting on your chest and inching it up and working it up to the shoulder. It's awkward, but like, once it's in that spot, not being able to freak out and just grinding it out and going through it, it was. I was really, really happy with how he did. Um, I mean, heck, he took, you know, was in the final heat, so it was great. It was super exciting, and I loved the energy. Like, I think a lot of people were kind of like speculating, like, "Oh, this is going to be that fun." But when people are lifting heavy stuff, it's always fun. <laughs> when they put the 350 bag out, he said he went and had a conversation with the bag. If you know Jason, this is perfect. And he said, said bag, 
this is my Matt Fraser moment. Let's do this. <laughs> so, and it, he said, and then it didn't happen. So, um, he's so he's awesome. That was, we were FaceTiming him as he's walking over the bridge. Matt's telling him like, dude, so good, you know, whatever. And people start cheering, like, you know, right at the front gate when the, all the athletes are walking over. And he shows the phone, like he puts Matt showing him the crowd and he goes, dude, they love me. <laughs> That's great. That so My expectation was to just make myself proud, really. That was like the only goal. And to each event, like, my fitness level was where it's at. Like, I can't do anything about that. And I can't do anything about like where everybody else is at fitness wise. And so the expectation was just to come here and like approach every workout in a way that is, is going to help me maximize every like opportunity to get me the opportunity to grab every point possible and just see where I ended up. Like, so the expectation was to just execute you know, from the get-go and, and whatever happens, happens at the end of that. And just, I wanted to get to Sunday happy. You know, I didn't want to regret anything. I didn't want to go back home, you know, after year two, like with a laundry list, a list of mistakes I had to clean up. Um, and so I feel like I did well enough. The proudest moments I had with Mal through, through this week, through the games week, were just how she was handling things when they weren't going the way she expected so you know if she's hitting the floor like the kettlebell clean and jerk workout two minutes before hitting the floor they completely changed the workout and the changes they made basically flip-flopped the leaderboard it went from you know a good mix of strength and then gymnastics where she had this huge benefit of doing l-sit legless rope climbs 20 foot to oh now it's now it's just strength and size bias she's out on the floor just figuring it out and you know before she hit the floor i said hey like this workout's going to be tough like you are very very small and those are big big kettlebells and uh you know roll with the punches uh you know it doesn't matter if you like it or don't like it execute and grab every point you can um you know jay jay just stayed in the fight um, you know, they're, they're looking at every workout of like, it doesn't matter if this workout's good for me, bad for me. It's fighting tooth and nail for every single point possible. The points you gain from going from 30th place to 29th place are just as valuable as going from third place to second place. I think I stayed in a pretty good headspace the entire weekend, which was a big deal, just like being able to stay locked in. The yoke event was huge for me because I worked really hard on that stuff the past year. Um, it wasn't my best finish, but it was a big deal. Workout, we're excited for it. Let's get it done. Have a strong finish. She's really excited for this one. Yeah, for sure. How's your nerves been this week? It's really bad. <laughs> Olivia says she wants to be interviewed. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, man. Where does um, where does Mel get her athletic ability from, Mum or Dad? I honestly both. don't know. A little bit of both. Honestly, <laughs> her dad was a great football player, great athlete. Yeah. We had the wrestling background. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. A little bit of She's just a natural. Oh, I'm. I, I've had to. I've had to rein in my excitement during this week, of how excited I am for next season. Um. You know, we've been working with Jay for a little bit longer, um, and I think Jay was bought in from the get go. Um, Mal, there was. There's been more things that you know they took longer to convince her and uh i think it was probably about three weeks ago she finally said she's like okay i'm in like the things you've been preaching to me she's like i see the value of them and some of the things that 
there, there's a lot of things that, you know, as soon as we said it, she was like, all right, I'm in. There's a lot of things that, you know, she's very hesitant and you know, she didn't want to make the changes. And I think now she's like, oh, okay, I see it. I see the benefit of doing those things. Yeah, it was a little nerve wracking just because I hadn't trained like that yet. So it was just like, I needed proof that it was going to work. And that's what happened this weekend. <laughs> so I'll still ask if I do enough though. That'll never change. <laughs> I got I got off the cer the reward ceremony and I looked at Jake and Matt and I'm so, I'm so excited about next training season. Um, there's just so much stuff that I'm ready to work on and to just keep hammering, you know, like the CrossFit games are cool and it's cool to, you know, be the seventh fittest man in the world and that that title, you know, like all that is cool, but the the, the fun is in the process. The fun is in the training, the, the frustrating moments of the season, the joyful moments of the season, the moments where it's like you surprise yourself and I feel like the games is just icing on the cake and the things that you will remember forever and the things that I feel like make you like in your like build your character or the the moments where no one's around and it's just you and you decide to put in the, the work you decide to pay attention to the more the details um so i'm excited to just take that next step and, and keep growing you know as a man as a as a competitor as an athlete and just see what happens well seven months ago i told matt i want to be the youngest to ever podium at the crossfit games so that was like our big goal for this year, next year, the year after, but like we completed it this year, so that was awesome. Um, but my expectation, like I just want to be better than last year. Like obviously I come here to win and I want to beat myself. So, I mean, I did that and being able to do that was just, it was really special. I'm really excited. Like I feel like this weekend we hit everything possible basically. <laughs> um, and it's just like, you can look at the leaderboard like, oh, I, that's where I have a hole. I'm gonna fill that like for just the straight sprint event, for example, like the run part. Like, okay, I need to do a little more running like that. And then like, same with strength, that stuff takes time. So it's just like being able to have another year to work on all that is great. And like having what I have already and building off that. I've improved so much in like six months. So I can't wait to see what next year brings. You know, this would be, I think the first like full full season that we're working with both of them so even even just going from working with Mal for you know seven eight months to now extending that out to a full year but starting the year in the right place you know it's not it's not going to be four months of corrections and base building and you know making all these mental changes now we get a full 12 months starting I'm excited <laughs> Let's go get donuts! <laughs> Mal is uh, incredible. Like, you don't understand. I feel like in the future she'll be the back to back to back. Because she's just like, she has incredible movement, she has an incredible mindset. And the intensity that she has on the floor is like, it's only matched by a few people. And they've been back to back to back champions. So, uh, yeah, sometimes you forget that she's 18. You know what I mean? Thanks, dude. You're welcome. <laughs> I owe you big time. Sorry. Oh, you did great, dude. What do you need from? What do you want from me, bro? What can I get? Just don't talk to me for like two weeks. <laughs> two weeks? Give me, give me. I'm, gonna text, I'm gonna text you in a week. Say what we got today. <laughs> what are we doing today? You're out of the gym for like a month. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. September first is my first day back. Great. <laughs>